All right, so what I've done for you guys, and for me, uh, is I went and got some San Pellegrino. As I mentioned before, I spent some time in Italy. And so I'm gonna try some, I'm gonna try making this into a fizzy drink and see if it tastes a little bit more like cola. Okay, I don't really drink cola, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, that's good, that's good. And it goes down better. I don't know how experienced you guys are at drinking, but I don't normally drink straight liquor, even with ice, without ice anyway, but mixed with a little bit of water, it does not taste as if I'm becoming an alcoholic as quickly. So I prefer this particular combination. Mm hmm It also feels less hangover inducing, which I like. And it's just more drinkable. It's not sweet. The alcohol is not as prominent. It tastes more like a cola. You still have the cola flavor from the rum. You have the fizzy part from the cola. This goes down a lot easier. I can get that down a lot faster. So maybe the moral of this actual story is don't mix it with water because then you can get it down and then get the next drink in and you're gonna get yourself in trouble. So that might actually be the moral of that story. Oh well. All right, so our second drink of the day is going to be the same brand. It's gonna be the Key Largo, or not Key Largo, sorry, Largo Bay. Uh, this time it's going to be their banana rum. Uh, of course, we saved the uh, banana for second because it's banana. And banana can go very, very badly. I think we've all learned this. I don't know how many of you have heard the story of... Is it... Is it runts? Is, it, is the runts the, the candy that comes in the fruit shapes? And it tastes like the fruit and it has the banana? And the reason it tastes like so sweet and banana-y is because it's based off of like the like original best type of banana and there's like different kinds of bananas, but that is the kind that got hit by, I don't know, some sort of disease or fungus or burr, I don't know, something. And it's now extinct. And so we only have the, the mutated banana, the polyploidy, is that, is that the right one? Banana that has the three, and you can, you know, you split it if anybody's done that in science class. Uh, so we only have that one. And it still tastes like a banana. But bananas used to be even better. I, which blows my mind. Like, I really want to, like, go back in time and try a banana. Which is a dumb reason to use a time machine. But does anybody else want these things? I want these things. Anyway, we are going to try the Largo Bay Banana Rum. And... When it becomes too much, because I'm pretty sure it will be, because I'm me, I have my San Pellegrino in a glass bottle, because glass is better than plastic. Hear that? Glass, better than plastic. We'll give it a go. All right, banana. Mm. It's, it smells like, mm. okay, all right, we'll see how it goes. All right, optimism. Happiness. We'll see. It could be good. Oh, God. <laughs> it's fine. Don't breathe. So. This is actually better than that, um, that blue stuff my head the other day. Not by a lot, but enough, enough that I would drink this over that blue stuff. Yeah, I would. All right. Well, let's give it one more go. It is better than that blue stuff. 
All right, so we're gonna try a little bit of sound pellegrino with it because fizzy water helps things. I don't know, the alcohol comes through in a weird way in this and the banana tastes a little bit bitter to me. There is, like, you can still taste the sweetness and uh, you can see it, like, you know how the, uh, like, you can just see, like, the sugar, like, because it, it gives it a solidity. What's that called? I'll have to look that up so I can sound smart. I like sounding smart. It's my favorite. That did help that. The fizzy water helped the Largo Bay banana. Uh, it cut the bitterness. It doesn't taste as bitter as it did without it. The, the bitterness by itself was coming through a bit much. Uh, but with the, with the San Pellegrino, it's not bad. Probably these are meant for, for mixers. I'm probably messing this up rather spectacularly. You guys will have to let me know. Again, you kind, kind internet people. Just the internet people, legendary for their kindness. And, uh useful, useful feedback. You'll have to let me know. Uh, but I think this is probably meant for a mixer. I don't, so I, I really don't know. I understand the banana. Banana, like fruit flavors, you mix fruit flavors, you can try different things. That I understand, that I get. But what do you mix the cola with? Seriously, I don't drink soda. You can have a rum and Coke, but this is cola rum. So what do you do with that? I don't know. What do you mix cola rum with? Like what, what would taste good with that? I don't understand the concept behind that. Besides the fizzy water, which is why I have fizzy water. This is what I drink. I drink fizzy water. I drink green tea. I drink peppermint tea. I'm a very exciting person. <laughs> I think I warned you about this. This is why my friends bought me a bunch of mini bottles of liquor because I'm super exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they wanted to expand my horizons for this reason. So if you could help me out, <laughs> that'd be great. I'd appreciate it. It's probably needed. Cheers. Again, kind internet people, please. Greatly appreciated.